Sam, and I'm here with my sister in Christ, Hannah Moon, and some of you can see her hopefully. It depends on if you're on the iPad or on the telephone, uh, but we are so grateful to be here with you, and we're going to be talking to you a little bit in a few minutes about the Rock Bottom is a Beautiful Place opportunity, and uh, also where we've been and where are we going. Uh, and we're going to be getting uh, you a chance to come join us on this journey. Uh, so welcome, welcome, welcome. We are recording this, and so after the call, we always uh, download it and upload it to YouTube uh, so that we can share the message with those that can't make it because there's always people that can't make it here. And so let me go ahead and pray, and then we're going to have you ladies introduce yourself. Um, and get you uh, to get us to know who's here. Some of you are already in the book. Some of you are thinking about getting into the book. Uh, and some of you have been in the other books. So I'm going to go ahead and pray us in. All right. Father God, thank you so much for our time together today. Lord, thank you for Rock Bottom. Thank you that it, it is a beautiful place. Uh, Lord, thank you that uh, we can come together and learn and grow and expand our territory. And Lord, that we can share our message of hope with the world. Uh, Lord, we, we want to honor you tonight with this honor, and we want to just honor you with every part of our life. And so, Lord, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So um, before we dive in, let's gonna just go ahead and do a little quick... Um, around the room who's here uh, and again uh, we want to know who you are and where you are so go ahead and type into the chat box and let us know where you are and your name that would be great I'm going to try to deal with a little bit of technical uh, challenges here um, and um, we want to see where you are Okay, and let's see, we've got Judy, there's Judy from Virginia, Mia from Dallas, Hannah, there she is, Melissa from Dallas, hi, Dolores, uh, there's Erica, yay, um, and you can see on the beautiful screen here my um, el editor, and she is with us, uh, so Hannah, why, I'm going to pass it to you a little bit later, but why don't you introduce yourself right now before we dive into some of this. Okay, um, I'm Hannah Moon, and I have been blessed to uh, edit and work with Diane on the last two Rock Bottom books, and I'm just so looking forward to this one. Um, these have really been just um, a wonderful blessing, not only to the women who've been involved, but um, to the people who actually put it together and uh, to the people who read it. And um, I think that God works really just some wonderful miracles and makes relationships and lets people know that they're not by themselves with these books. That's exactly right. So ladies, if you are here uh, for the first time and wanting to find out about the book, you're in the right place. I've got some to show you here. Some of you have already jumped in. Some of you, if you've already been in one of the Rock Bottoms, go ahead and do a shout out in the in the chat room now. Um, if you're a Rock Bottom sister, uh, let's have you do a shout out because we've got some of you guys here. And yay, um, that's awesome. Uh, I know Judy's been a Rock Bottom girl. We've got some of the other gals in um, the Rock Bottoms, and then we've got some that are on their way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dive in to the conversation today. You'll be able to see that we have, obviously, we want you to talk during class. <laughs> uh, so there's a little chat box on the left-hand side. Uh, this call is open. If you know a friend that was supposed to be here, you know, text her, tweet her, whatever you got to do, send her on over. We're going to be talking uh, tonight through, the, through this experience, and we're going to give you the opportunity to come join us. Um, and I have one of our Rock Bottom sisters who I, I'm hoping to get on the telephone, but we're having a little bit of challenges as well. You know, God bless, God bless the world because there's some Crazyville. Has anybody had, let's just do a, let's just do a shout out to Crazyville. Has anybody uh, been a little bit off today or had weird things happening? Weird, like I've been, I've been getting the weirdest emails today. Um, and yeah, let's just say, um, you know. Praise God for the crazy. <laughs> Shannon's had some crazy. Uh, Melissa. Oh, excellent. Melissa lost her job. 
Oh, there's Marsha. Oh, good. Um, Marsha, I couldn't find you for a long time. So Marsha's here now. Yay. That's exciting. Um, so Melissa's saying that she's just lost her job. Wow. Um, and so we've all had a lot of crazy today. So let's just kind of pause. And you know what? Here's the deal. Um, rock bottom looks different for each of us, and we're going to talk a little bit about what that means. So I'm actually going to turn the screen here. Uh, yeah, we've got to we've got to work the crazies out. We've got to like just be right here, right now. We're going to talk about gratitude. We're going to talk about gratitude because this last book, uh, the first two books, uh, number one was about testimonies of triumph, and you'll see that there, the little pink one at the top, testimonies of triumph. And so Judy was in that one. If there's any of the other um, rock bottom number one sisters that were in that one, I uh, give a little shout out. And then rock bottom number two was called Living Your Calling, Living Your Calling. And so this third rock bottom book is called Living with a Grateful Heart. And so what I know right here, gratitude, I guess I'm going to ask you, this is an interactive call. This is an interactive seminar. Uh, so what is Did we lose each other? Have, I, have we lost Hannah? Can you guys see me and hear me? Let's just go ahead and say, if we, if You're I get kicked now. out of heaven, <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Let's just put this out there. If I get kicked <laughs> off the webinar, if Hannah gets kicked off the webinar, if you all get kicked off the webinar, guess what? We log back in. Simple. It's, it's going to work. Everything's going to be just fine. Okay, what is gratitude? So um, uh, what does that mean to you? What does great gratitude mean to you? Now it's going to look different for each of you. Uh, yeah, sorry if the audio is choppy, Dolores. We've got a lot of things going on at the moment, and we're, we're just going to have to do the best we can at this point. Um, Rock Bottom is a beautiful place. Now um, I'm going to just say every, every webinar I do, there's mistakes, and um, I like to point them out because I like you to see that you do not have to be perfect to have a business. Let's say praise praise Jesus for that, because you know what? If I was perfect, I sure wouldn't be sure wouldn't be writing a rock bottom book about drinking a liter of tequila, would I? I don't think so. So, um, rock bottom is a beautiful place. Number three, and you can see there that uh, behind I have the um, I didn't get this erased right there. I can't even get the pencil to work. This is fantastic. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> Oh, golly. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, we got to laugh. Look, we're just going to erase that and make a little line through it. It's going to be so pretty. Okay, who am I? You guys, Paul, I mean, if you don't know me already, well, hmm, you do now. Uh, I'm Diane Cunningham, and I, am, I have my master's in education, and I'm the president and founder of the National Association of Christian Women Entrepreneurs. Uh, there's a lot of our members that are here in the house, so if you're a member of NACWI, give a little shout out for NACWI, NACWI rocks. Um, but we are a global association where women connect, we meet to connect, create, and collaborate. Yay. The side note, uh, we're, see, we're about ready to get kicked off the webinar again. Uh, but we're about ready to have a big conference here in the Dallas area called Blaze the Trail. Blaze the trail. Now, now why, why are we doing that? Well, because we have to get together in person. We had a conference last year called Catch on Fire. And then that was when I first shared about my rock bottom journey out loud in public with uh, 45 women. And we're getting ready to have our next conference uh, coming up here in 51 days uh, here in the Dallas area. So if you have not got your ticket for that yet and you are a member, you need to get your ticket, and, and Melissa, you need to come. Erica needs to come. Judy needs to come. Sally needs to come. Um, but if you are not an Equi member, we have a combo pack where you can get your ticket and a year of membership. Um, I am a business therapist. Um, I'm a plane crash survivor. Uh, this week is the week I actually survived a plane crash four years ago. So I have my little plane crash anniversary. Yay. God had, been, had more to, for me to do. Imagine that. I'm an author, consultant, speaker. I run marathons and half marathons, and I'm kind of a fun friend. At least I think I am. And um, I'm a best-selling author, and what I want to do is help you become a best-selling author. And we we know how to do that now. And Hannah has kind of, God bless Hannah. I love Hannah because um, she has walked this journey with me, 
and she knows how this experience works. But we have all three of these books, Inspired Business Toolkit, then Rock Bottom, number one, and then Rock Bottom, number two, have all become Amazon bestsellers. So I want to take you with me. I want to take you with me on that journey. Does anybody want to be an Amazon bestseller? Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing to be able to say you're an Amazon bestseller. Um, and um, I drink too much coffee. I eat way too many chips and salsa, and I connect with friends as often as possible. My mission uh, that is it's important for you to know what your mission in life is because it's going to help you to say no and say yes to certain things. My mission is to inspire women to dream big, catch on fire, and change the world. Each of these books is about doing that. Um, the conference that I do is about that. What I do during the day is about that. Uh, so if you don't know your mission, um, it's time for you to figure it out. Okay? Um, and this is just me acting like a cuckoo bird because I am. And those are four of my book babies. I have another book, baby. So I've got five, and we're about to birth number six. Um, I have never birthed a child, but I birth a lot of other things, programs, books, and uh, businesses. Uh, and then I like to wear funny hats, and I, I really like to have fun, and I like to help you have fun, too. So uh, we are a Rock Bottom Sisters. So why Rock Bottom? Let me just tell you, why, why rock bottom and what is rock bottom? Well, guess what? I'm not going to decide what your rock bottom is. Um, I know what mine felt like, and I know I've had a couple of those in my life. Hannah, have you had a couple in yours? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, ladies in the chat room, if, have you had at least one rock bottom or uh, possibly a few? Uh, I know there's like some defining moments in uh, my life and in my journey uh, where I, and I told the alcohol one in the first book about hitting rock bottom on June 18th, um, two years ago, two, 2013, and I wasn't kidding. I did drink a liter, a liter. Uh, now, if you, if you don't know how much a liter is, that's a lot of tequila. And uh, the next day was what I call, um, well, it's my sobriety date. It, it was my day of uh, incomprehensible demoralization. And so from that day forward, um, I've had, I walked the rock bottom path, but in that process, I got sober, I reached out and I asked for help, I surrendered, I did a lot of things that I had to do to, um, to really ask God to help me. And I tell that story in the book, and, and a lot of you have already read that story or heard that story. But your rock bottom is different. There's rock bottom stories in here about women that have lost a child through an accident, women that have been raped, women that um, other women that have struggled with addictions, women that have um, just lots, you know, your rock bottom, I'm not going to define it for you. Some of the women send me these emails and they say, well, do I qualify? I, you know, you, it's not a qualification process. You're not applying for a job, the rock bottom job. <laughs> Uh, you qualify if you feel like you've ever hit rock bottom. Okay? Um, why rock bottom and what is rock bottom? Uh, anything you want to add to that, Hannah? Um, no, I can't think. You, you covered that pretty well. <laughs> okay. And ladies, if, if we're having audio problems, uh, I'm really sorry. Um, again, we, you know, we're doing the best we can here, and uh, if it's a little bit choppy, just bear with us. Um, we've got a lot of, we've got two people on the screen, and then we're going to bring in a, a third here in a minute. Um, but uh, just, just bear with us. We, so rock bottom is addiction. It could be divorce. I know that I've been through that as well. Legal battle. My sec, the second book, I shared the story of losing my career. Uh, my career as a counselor because of a client committing suicide. And then, so grief, loss, letting go. So basically what I'm trying to get at, the, the bottom line here, is all of you, have prob the reason you're here on this call is probably because you have experienced a rock bottom event. Now, what we are doing now uh, with this is we are now accepting authors for our last book in this series. Um, now, can God change my mind and decide we're going to do more books in the series? Uh, that's probably possible. I mean, Garth Brooks retired and came back, didn't he? Uh, you know, <laughs> I know. I know. These are the things that go through my head. But 
Um, I believe this is the third one and the last one in the Rock Bottom series. So what does that mean for you? We have 24 spots open. We already had six women uh, that have joined in. So we have Marsha that's already got a spot. Let me look at my list. Melissa's got a spot. Marsha, Elise, Sharla, Angie, and Mia. Yay, Mia got in today. Yay. Uh, so welcome, Yay. Mia. I need to get you added to the private group. And so those others of you that are here in the room, we're going to be telling you why you might want to join us, okay? And Marsha, I'm going to bring you on the, the uh, audio here in just a second, so hang tight with me. And these ladies that were in book number one and book number two, there's Karen. Hi, people have come to jump in that I haven't seen. So if you haven't said hello yet, and uh, we've been having a little bit of audio challenge, and of course our, you know, yay, yay for imperfection. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, so uh, Karen was in, so if you've been in rock bottom number one or number two, we had, again, 28 women in the first book and 11 in the second book. So if you're a rock bottom sister, give a shout out because these are your Amazon bestsellers. And here, here's what I want you to hear also. Rock bottom, God uses every single bit. God uses every single bit of your story, of your journey. And if maybe you're in rock bottom right now. I don't know. Uh, but God, every single piece of my brokenness, whether, uh, whether I've written it in a book or whether I'm in the midst of it right now, there's a thing I'm walking through right now. I bet you there's a thing you're walking. Let me just ask. Is there something you're walking through right now with an illness, someone else that has an addiction, someone that you want, is in the middle of, I'm thinking of three people, three of you that I know, somebody that's in the middle of a divorce or a separation, somebody that, that has a prodigal child or a prodigal parent, uh, somebody that's watching somebody they love in pain with illness. Uh, does that hit home with anybody here? I think it does. I think it does. Uh, so rock bottom, God uses every single bit. And what we're going to invite you to do tonight is join us in the last book in the series. Uh, now, do I have what I need here? You know, sometimes I go rogue. Actually, most of the time I go rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a I have a copy of what the cover looks like for the next rock bottom book. And, you know, would you, would you think I could find it? Well, I mean, you guys have seen the cover. I'm not going to fuss. So, anyway... Uh, that was this video, this picture right here is me telling my story on a video. And if you haven't seen that yet, I have it um, on YouTube. I have, I, it's a 10 minute video, so sit yourself down. And um, this is where I tell about my, um, my last night of drinking and what led up to that and, and then what's happened after that. Hi, Shayla. Welcome. Shayla's in the book too. Uh, we've got a lot of our sisters here. All right, the women that are in these books um, are overcomers. They're messengers of hope. Did I spell that wrong, Hannah? Yep. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. <That's> okay. <laughs> now, how many mistakes can Diane make on a webinar? Let's, let's just switch it up. It's not just one mistake. I mean, let's go to three, four, five, six, and seven. And... Um, you know, here, uh, you don't have to be perfect. You're not going to spell things right, and you're still going to carry on. You're going to get kicked off your own webinar. That's right. You're going to post the wrong link to the webinar. You know what? Is the world ending? Uh, no. And um, you're going you're gonna to have to learn as you go. So let's just give a big heart to my messenger, and um, <laughs> yay. Yay for imperfection. Uh, but we're women of truth. One of the things that I believe has helped me succeed in a different way since I got sober is that I've been really telling the truth about everything. I, I've been telling the truth and I've been not hiding from myself. You know, God knows where we are. God knows who we are. God knows where we are. God knows what our secrets are. The ones that are in the bedroom, the ones that are in the closet in the bathroom, the ones that are in the car. And, you know, Sometimes we hide them all around, and that can be a substance, that can be a behavior, that can be a sadness, a depression, um, and so God knows where you are. God knows where every, everybody here, there's 18 of you here in the room right now, God knows exactly where you are, 
and your story can help save a woman's life. What happened for me is that after a couple months of sobriety, I really began to feel this feeling that I had to tell my story, that it wasn't for me, that if I could help one woman, then I was supposed to tell it. And I thought, well, that's really a career suicide. Career suicide is what I thought. Uh, and in fact, I keep a woman's name here on my bulletin board. It's behind the computer. And um, her name is Jennifer. And her sobriety date is February 11th. And because of me sharing my story, one of our NACWE members was on a trip and, and somebody began to tell them her story and it was similar to mine. And I was able to get on the phone with this woman I've never met and talk to her many, many times on the phone and just help her with some hope. Help her with some hope. Uh, that is what God is calling us to do. Does anybody in the room here know that they have been the one that needed hope? Has anybody in the room ever felt like they, uh, they needed hope and then they've been in the place where you were able to give hope? I believe we're doing that all the time. I believe we have to have our hands open. And because this one, I, I'm reaching to grab my sister because I need her. And then this one, I'm reaching back to help you. And you know what? We're, we need to hold hands um, and not, not, be, not be closed, not be bitter, not be jealous, not be judging. Um, we need to be open-handed, open-handed with a grateful heart, grateful heart. So um, I'm going to put Hannah on the spot here for just a second, and then I'm going to queue up. I'm going to queue up our next sister here in a second. Um, and Hannah, can you just share a little bit about what it's been like for you as you've read these stories and been just our editor behind the scenes for the Rock Bottoms? Well, the, the thing about the stories is that as I've read them, I have just come away with... Um, an admiration and awe of what not only what God can do, but the the um, um, what's the word resiliency of the women that are in NACWI and those that have participated in these books. Um, these stories have just you know they just some of them just rip your heart out, and you know these are women that God has restored, and it's like. If he can do this for us here, you know, I participated in two of the books. If he can give us that kind of restoration in our stories, there's nothing he can't do in anybody else's. Mm -hmm. And that is the thing that I just love so much about these books and editing them and, and being involved in them is because I know that there's people out there that are being touched. You know, in their lives, like Diane said, there's being given hope. They're being given, um, you know, somebody's throwing a life raft to them or something telling them that their stories um, are not, you know, this is not the end. This is this is the beginning for them and that God can bring them back into um, to what they're supposed to be, you know. And so that's the biggest books. Well, and I love that we get to talk about chocolate and coffee a lot. And uh, Hannah gets to hear about all my dating. She hears about all my dating escapades. And thank God I finally found a, a one boyfriend. Uh, but <laughs> uh, this is Hannah's bio right there. Uh, she is a freelance writer, editor, and independent publisher of quality nonfiction and fiction through her publishing company, Heritage Press Publications. She's been my editor for these two of these books and um, I'm I hire her over and over again uh, she also is a self-confessed book addict aren't we all chocolate lover coffee snob <laughs> and Jesus follower and she divides her time between work family life her vegetable garden some chickens and things she runs around ch chasing chickens <coughs> sometimes and I'm like you're doing <laughs> And uh, dogs, grandchildren, and 27 acres in Mississippi. So if we need a little retreat, we know where the coffee is hot. And That's so, right. Uh, and I got to meet Hannah in person last year at the NACWI conference, and she's going to be here. This is another reason why you're going to want to go come to our conference in 50 days, 51 days. Hannah and I are going to be both teaching you 
behind the scenes how to have an Amazon best-selling book launch. Because guess what, sisters? Once you've gone through it with us, you get to do it yourself. A couple of our women in the room are in the mm -hmm. midst of that. Um, Heidi's in the midst of writing her own book and doing her Amazon launch. Uh, Karen's in the midst of that. Um, there might be more in the room. Marsh has been in two different books. She had two book launches in one month. I mean, whoa, hello. So go check yeah. out Hannah's website at Heritage Press Publications. And then I want to introduce you. Uh, yes, Marsh is in the midst of writing her next couple of books. I want to show you a couple pictures, and then I'm going to actually bring Marsha on the screen. Let's see if we can do that. Marsha, are you ready to be on the screen? Let's try this. We're going, we're going totally rogue at this point. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can have two of you on the screen, but let's, let's do it. <laughs> Why not? Uh, we can't break it, right? I mean, I've already done that. So, um, Marsha, we should be getting you. Uh, you can oh. take me off for a while. Okay, let's take you off. Can you turn yourself off, Hannah? I don't know how to do it. Let's see. How do I turn Bear with off? Us. <laughs> Bear with us. I mean, really? We, we, we normally don't have this many people on the, on the screen with us. I don't know how um, to turn me off. Uh, oh, hold on. I think I know how to do it. I'm going to take you off of... Oh, that Marsha should be on presenter. Hannah, I'm going to take you off of presenter right now. Okay. Marsha, are you able to get on the screen? Or can we just hear you? Oh, here she comes. Marsha. As we are waiting uh, for Marsha to get in, I don't know how to get Hannah off. I mean, what the heck? Hang on. Let me see if I can. <laughs> if you guys still love me after this, then we, we're okay. Um, this is me at a conference in the fall, and I was uh, practicing the taking off your mask. And um, this is some of our Rock Bottom sisters right here from our first book launch. We've got Benita. We've got Michelle, we've got Paula, we've got Melanie right here, and Sylvia. Right Sylvia here. drove for nine hours with her children in the car. It was so important for her to get to this book launch with us. And um, Marsha, we can't hear you, honey, and I don't know how to get you on, but I'm trying to get you on. So let me try this again. Let me try this again. Voice I don't on. know how to get me off. Can you click on the button underneath your, here she comes. Here she comes. There we go. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Marsha. Hey, Marsha. Marsha, can you uh, go ahead and introduce yourself? I don't know if we can hear you. Marsha, we can't. Can you hear Marsha? Can you guys hear Marsha? It says audio on. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, wait. Can you hear me now? I can now? hear you now, Marsha. Okay. So um, I have to always remember what meeting this is I'm in. And I, I, I usually start my meetings by saying, hi, my name is Marsha and I'm an addict. But that's not the meeting I'm in. So I'm just going to tell you that I am Marsha Shirell. I am a life purpose coach and, um, and a best-selling author twice over in, uh, within a, a three-week period. And I am a speaker and a leadership development consultant. So there's quite a few things that I uh, am getting involved in and, and praise God because um, it could have been another way. And it was because I was obedient and left my corporate position after 38 years of being in the business I was in. I walked away, took my own skills, um, didn't think anybody else wanted to hire me. And, um, and God said, I've given you too much testimony for you to sit on it. Now you need to get out and talk to the many and, so, and the masses. And so that's what uh, my business is. And that's what I am 
here to do, and that is talk to the masses. And one way is through writing, the other way is through speaking and um, and working with dynamic women like you in, in networking groups. So Marsha, can you just um, quickly tell them, because you were in the rock bottom number two and you've already signed up, or like you instantly clicked the button, um, why they might want to join us for this rock bottom three. What was your experience? Well, I'll tell you that I have, I've been a journaler uh, since I was 11 years old and um, at that time it was a diary but I've been writing and I've wanted for many many years to write my own book and didn't know which way which way to go and so to introduce my way into the authorship if you will it was a perfect opportunity and it was an opportunity because I um, a great opportunity because I was able to talk to um, the collaborator, which was uh, Diane, the lead, and then I met so many wonderful sisters that were involved in the process that we talked about what was our, what was challenging us and what was going really well for us and so on. And then there was Hannah, who after writing it all that, you know, she came back with her edits and everything and just through the entire process, um, I learned um, that it's not just a one-shot deal and that you never finish writing it because if, if it wasn't for Hannah, I'd probably still be editing the darn thing. And so, um, so through that, I, I learned a lot more on this end of how to market my own book. And I met some other women. I've met graphic artists. I've met, and then the other part is, is that what was so incredible is that everybody has a story. You know, I knew that from way back that everybody has a story, but now I got to hear them up close and personal. And I got to meet the people that were behind it, even at the book signings. And it was just an incredible experience. And so when the opportunity came up for um, book three, I jumped on it right away because I thought, what am I gonna learn this time? And so in the process, I'm going to be going into Rock Bottom book three, and I'm also writing my own personal book so that this time I'm not going to be so frantic. I'm gonna be able to sit back and relax and, and take better notes about the process. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm so grateful you were able to get on. I'm sorry, Marsha was planning to be here to help me with the webinar, and of course I had the wrong link, and then I'm, you know, I'm frantic like a Looney Tune, but she knows. She knows how it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And so, um, Marsha, thank you so much for being uh, here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off your microphone so that we can get Hannah back on. And um, we are going to continue Hi, down the path Sign here. up so I can meet you. Sign up so I can meet you and everything. I hope that you <laughs> sign on. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, um, and then, well, let me go ahead and share, Marsha, her, her bio is here, and I didn't read through all that, but she is a life purpose coach, she is a speaker, she is an author, and she does do consulting, and she's in my Be Brave, I have two of the women here, Karen and Marsha are in my one year, now, you ladies think you were brave doing five days with me, well, these ladies signed up for one year of coaching, woo, help, God I'm here with Diane. <laughs> One year with Diane. Woohoo! I know. We we go to my house. We we paint. We we're going on a trip. I mean, it's wild. It's wild. Yeah. Um. So anyway, there's Karen. She's like, it's hard and it's a blessing. So, um, uh, that's just a side note. But um, if you're interested in finding out about working, being in the book is one piece of tonight. Uh, obviously, talk. You know, a lot of these women are in NACWI. And that's kind of how some of this has come about. I started NACWI back when I was drinking. I was a very functional alcoholic. You know, I mean, I, you don't have to end up in the gutter and dead or in the, in the jail to be an alcoholic and to have rock bottom. And so, um, anyway, there's, I'm going off on a tangent right one, now. But. Diana, I want to say one more thing about the Be Brave, that I used to think that I was brave prior to prior to, and, and there was, there was some reluctance going on, and I would 
you know, take a step and then I'd step back and then I'd take another step and I'd step back. Well, Diane is an activator. And when I met her, um, I have had, you know, coaches and extremely wonderful coaches and so on. And so I was like hitting and missing with with um, finances and, and, and revenue coming in. But since I've been with Diane, that it has been um, a pretty consistent flow of revenue because I'm doing something brave and I mean stepping out there, being authentic and being intentional and and with my knees knocking and tears flowing and, and everything. But I know that um, that she and the other women in NACWE are right there with me. And so my business has really started to take off in the last few months that I've I've been here and I just wanted to, you got that for free. I just wanted to throw that out. Okay. Well, I'll buy you a hamburger. I'll, I'll buy you a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at Shannon Bowman says, God help them. That's what she says to you poor ladies. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay. Um, so let's finish this up. We're, um, this is awesome. Okay. So can you guys still see me and hear me? I just want to make sure we're doing this right the right way here. <clears throat> uh, so Marsha's awesome. Karen is awesome. Hannah, Hannah's still in the house. Um, I don't know if Benita's here. Is Benita in the house? I left a couple of these um, up on the screen <clears throat> for uh, for you gals to be able to see. Benita's been in all two of the books, and so she, I think, okay, she had to go with her son. Well, I'm pretty sure she's going to be in the third book, and I did find, this is our sample copy, of course, I don't, of the new book. I don't have it in a part, you know, this is how they come when you get to approve them, and our graphic designer, Christine Dupree, if, she, if you ever need a book designed, uh, book cover design, this girl rocks, this girl rocks. Um, so this is Benita. She was in both of the other books. And then there's Karen. Uh, there, there's Karen, and she's still here. And I just want to give a shout out. I'm not going to bring Karen on the screen. I didn't even warn her, um, <laughs> but I'm going to just promote her. Karen is also in the Brave program. Karen, unless you want to come on the screen, you let me know, sister. I didn't know if you were going to be here or not. But um, let me know if you want to come on the screen and we can try it. But Karen Linwell Borg is the founder of Rama Counseling Associates and it's a biblical counseling and coaching. Oh, let's do it, sister. You know, why not? We're just going, we're going rogue. We are going rogue. Let's bring Karen on. Make presenter. Why not? You know, it's my webinar. I can bring people on if I want to. So Karen, we're bringing you on. And uh, I'm going to just uh, like announce her here. Hopefully you guys can see this. She owns a really amazing Rama Counseling Associates. And um, let me see if we're getting Karen on. Karen, are you? Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey. So um, let me finish introducing you, and then I'm going to pass it over to you for a second. So Karen's been in the first book and the second book. Karen ha is in NACWI. And I mean, this woman, ever since I met her, it was like a whirlwind, like a swoosh. And I'm sure she feels the same way. But she, she, since we have started working together, she's moved her entire office to a new location. She's added counselors on staff. Uh, she does biblical counseling. They do military spouse counseling. Uh, they do premarital counseling. Uh, they do. Uh, they focus on grief. And um, there's an amazing testimonial. You guys all need to go to her website, RaymaCounseling.com. The link is here at the very bottom in the pink. Uh, but we got this amazing testimonial video from one of her gentlemen that she has helped as a counselor who's now working there named Daniel. You will not believe what this man says on this video. Right, Karen? Uh, so anyway, I just want to bring you on the screen and uh, have you share with them what it was like for you to be a part of the, the two rock bottom books. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, oh, this is me after a workout, sweaty, no makeup, everything. So thanks a lot, Diane. <laughs> sure. Uh, you know, I hesitated just like everybody does to be in the rock bottom book. I, I do have a tendency to, my temperament is to see the glass half empty most of the time. 
but uncharacteristically for me, the first rock bottom book, Overcoming, I thought, well, I haven't really overcome much, you know. And then I remembered, you know, I lost uh, my husband after a four-year battle with three different cancers when my three little babies were still well, a little bit more older than diapers, but not much older. And we'd gone through several family crises and things like that. So, you you know, let, later you kind of forget, I guess. And I gave it a shot. I had written a book before in 2011 that I wasn't tremendously proud of. That's a long story we won't go into, but essentially the editor and publisher that asked for the book kind of ruled the roost and um, had more say so than I did about how the book went out. It still gets rave reviews when it's out there, but this was something for the first time that I felt like I could do and publish that I was very, very proud of. Um, it was a healing experience. It's very difficult to write. It's difficult to write your story, even if the story is a good story sometimes. But we all have a story to tell, as Marcia said, and Diane has said, and Hannah has said. I'm a narrative therapist, and narr narrative therapists believe that the story is the crux of all counseling, and that people construct their stories as they will throughout their lives in some ways, and they can deconstruct and reconstruct their stories so that those stories are healing and positive and, and uh, overcoming stories. So I think that's one of the things that Diane has done. It's, she's given us an opportunity to say what our rock bottom was and how we overcame, how God was gracious and faithful during those times in our lives, how we've learned to live our calling. I wrote in the second book because Rhema Counseling Associates, the face of Rhema Counseling Associates today is totally different than what it was when I met Diane in October of 2013. Um, it doesn't mean that we aren't still after the same purpose with the same mission statement and the same vision. That all stayed the same. But how we do what we do has uh, totally changed. And I was able to write about that. I had just had a terrible experience at the office and was ready to shut the thing down when my husband said, what do you want to do with this? And I had just saw, seen a couple of free webinars that Diane had put on for NACWI, and that started the ball rolling, snowball down the hill, actually, mm. and changed everything. So it was a good way for me, the second book was a good way for me to, to testify that working your business with a business coach and plugging in and doing some things a little bit differently, thinking outside the box a little bit, trusting the Lord and what he's called you to do works. Um, from 2013 to 2014, working with Diane that year, we grew we grew by 2.4 times. The difference in the two years was 2.4 times. I need to learn how to say that in a professional way, but you get the picture. It was that's astronomical to me. And if we do that again this next year, <laughs> I'm ready. I, sweaty or not, I'm ready <laughs> to do that. So yeah, uh, the third book is about being grateful, and I am. Like I said, I see the glass half empty instead of half full, but this is another opportunity for me to join with the most amazing group of women under Diane's great leadership and uh, put a story out there that encourages other people about gratefulness. I, I can't wait. I've already started dibbling in it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Diane. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad we were able to get you on and work out and all. You know, I was running through Walmart an hour ago, you know, dealing with my stuff. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you off the screen. But thank you, Karen, for coming on. And we're going to finish this up, ladies. I want to tell you how you can join us because um, that's really the – well, you need to know. You need to know how you can join us, and you need to know why. You already are hearing some of the why. Um, of what you're going to want to do, but let's let me give you the the, uh, the next step. Some of the this is Kristen. She was one of the ones in the rock bottom, and uh, she wasn't able to be here tonight. I don't think uh, because she's got a brand new baby, uh, and then we love him, MJ. And so I love that picture of her. Don't you guys love that? That is joy. That is joy right there. Oopsie. Um. And uh, so I love her. And then uh, really we are inviting you guys to come with us. Uh, really it's about victory. It's about women of God living in gratitude. 
I know for me, I can, I can easily get caught up in the fear, and I was caught up in some fear today. I can get caught up in the anxiety. I'm flying out on an airplane tomorrow night. I have about 500 things to do before then. 500. Um, bye, Melissa. We're going to be, uh, we're, 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 Melissa's already in the book. So see you later. Talk to you soon, honey. Uh, living in gratitude. So here are some of the gals at the last book launch. Uh, Melissa was there. She w she had to leave before that, but that's Karen, and there's Benita, and there's uh, Marsha's little eyeballs right there at the bottom. Uh, we have a great time at these book launches, and uh, we're inviting you to join us. We have actually it's down to 24 more spots for authors. Uh, when you're an author, you get a uh, picture on the website. Uh, let me talk you through what you're going to get. What's in it for you? What's in it for you, sister? Why join us? Well, you've heard from some of the gals that have been in the book, and, and as you could tell, I didn't pre, uh, I didn't prompt them. One, Karen didn't even know she was going to be on. But you get a chance in your book, in our next book, to tell your story. You get a chance to tell your story, about 2,000 words of your story. I don't know what your story is. Maybe I do. I don't know. But you get to tell it. And why do you want to tell it? You, you're going to be able to get published. You're going to be a published author. You're going to, your name is going to be on an Amazon page. Uh, but you can also add this book to what you go and speak about. Um, are you going to make a bunch of money off books? Let me warn you. No, you're not. Unless you uh, take a different route. I don't use books to make money. I use books to the world. I use books to get speaking engagements. I use books to get opportunities to go uh, talk at a retreat, a women's retreat. I, I use my books as gifts for clients. I use my books as manuals. I use them for a lot of reasons. Uh, thanks, Judy. Uh, but you have a chance to get published, and you'll have a chance. We, of course, we can't predict the future, but um, the first book uh, that we did, uh, the pink one, the first rock bottom was downloaded 3,665 times. And then book number two was downloaded 1,020 times. Uh, we make it free on Amazon for three days straight. And there's a reason for that. That's part of our experience. That's part of our process. Do we make any money off that? Nope. Zero. Free. Free. So, But that's how we become an Amazon bestseller. And you get listed on our website as an author. And then you also get to be with this amazing group of women. You learn from a professional editor. You get your story edited, and then you can use it in other places. Um, and then you can watch behind. This is the part I get excited about. You can watch behind the scenes of a book launch, and you're going to see how I do it. You're going to see how Hannah and I work together. You're going to see kind of the process. It's like, what, it's like what, doing a marathon. You're going to see us get all the way to the finish line. And you're going to learn how to do that. Uh, so that you can do the same thing for your tribe and for you. What does that mean? Uh, Judy, is uh, she has a tribe of women, of women of value and women of worth. So her tribe it needs to be sharing their story. Same thing with who else is here. A Angela, you have a story, and you have a tribe of people that have walked through a similar journey to what you are walking through. So as you learn how to do this, you, you then can become a publisher and help other people to share their story. Bottom line, you are sharing hope, you are sharing, serving others, and you're going to stop hiding. For me, it was, again, it was about stopping that double life. I was living a double life for a long time. I lived a double life in my marriage. That was very unhealthy. I lived a double life when I was drinking because I would have, I mean, truth be told, if I had a webinar right now, I would have had an alcohol next to me. I would have been drinking an apple teeny, or I would have been preparing to have some wine. And I don't do that anymore. Praise God. Uh, I'm coming up on two years of sobriety this summer. But it's a one day at a time gig. I had to stop hiding. I had to stop hiding, and I had to start feeling. I had to start feeling my feelings. By the end of the book collaboration, guess what? Here's what you're going to have. You're going to gain authority. You're going to gain authority by being a published author. You're going to increase your presence. Uh, and give your get basically you're going to be able to take a book with you uh, and sh speak on your story and you're going to grow your list. Okay, uh, God is at work and He loves to get you back on the dance floor. What does that mean? That means you know we're not meant to crumble there on the floor. We're not meant to hit rock bottom and um, and never. I don't think. 
I know for me, my, I'm supposed to talk about it. I'm supposed to talk about it. Uh, Shayla, we have all those answers for you in our private group, okay, for just the authors. So we'll get you those. Uh, so are you ready? Is God stirring your heart? For those of you that haven't taken the leap, um, 26 uh, of you have, and we've got room for 24. We're going to close it down as soon as we finish. I'm surprised none of you have signed up yet, but we're going to finish up here so you can. Um, I wholeheartedly, this is my little quote right here, I wholeheartedly know that God's grace sets us free. God's grace has set me free. He's set a lot of you free. If God, if God has given you grace and set you free, you know, we are not here to judge. We are not here to, um, you know, everybody has their own thing. Everybody has their own broken, horrible, tragic story, but it's about how we use it. It's about how we use it and what God needs to do with it. Here's some of our sisters from the last book. There's uh, Phaedra and there's Renali. Yay. Uh, so join us today. 24 spots are open until they are gone. Uh, we're going to keep it open. I'm going to keep, unless they're all sold tonight, this week, um, I'm going to continue enrolling women. So if you have a friend that you want to invite to come join, again, we're going to close it down once we've filled the 24 spots because that's, that's how many can fit in one book and have enough room for the 2,000 words for me to write my story, for us to have a forward and a back and an afterward, and to uh, basically create a really beautiful sized book. Okay, um, so it's part of the process. So here's the deal: you can get your spot, you can pay in full for 497, and that covers your the editing, that covers you listing on your listing on the uh, website page that we already have set up and ready for you. And that also gets you five copies of the book, and it gives you all the material to walk through the book launch. And, and, and more importantly, it gets you a sisterhood. Uh, or you can do three payments of 166 every 30 days. A lot of you are doing that, and we're totally great with that. Uh, so just go to rockbottomisabeautifulplace.com slash join us. And uh, we, we can't wait to welcome you. We, we're going to start having our book team calls. Uh, next month and we have a template we give you so you can start writing we help you all the way through uh, take action here, here's what I want to leave you with tonight I want you to take action I want you to take action when I hit rock bottom I had to take a lot of action I had to change uh, I had to change everything because my life was filled with alcohol every night my life was filled with alcohol and I had to change a lot of things. I, I had to do things differently. I had to do new things. I had to be uncomfortable. But has that given me the freedom, a beautiful freedom? Yes. Is it totally worth it? You better believe it. I'm so much better now. Uh, it's amazing the miracles that have happened for me uh, since I finally hit the rock bottom. That's why the title, Rock Bottom is a Beautiful Place, is so important to me. We can't wait to welcome you. I'm going to go ahead and close this up with prayer. If you have questions, just shoot me an email, diane at dianecunningham.com. Um, I'm leaving town tomorrow, so get your, get your spot in the book as soon as possible. Um, we can't wait to welcome you, and we're, we're not going to leave you. We, we, we know how to do this. So let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for this time together tonight. Lord, thank you even for the challenges. Thank you, Lord, for technology, and thank you that it works. And, you know, sometimes we can sit and complain and we can be all foul and, and cranky that we might have a, a, a challenge here and there. But, Lord, thank you. I just want to always be in gratitude. The fact that we can do a webinar like this from all over the country. The fact that we can talk on the phone. We can text. We can Skype. We can do all these things. Lord, there is nothing for us to complain about. Not a thing. And so, Lord, every rock bottom moment, Lord, use those things, the ones that we're in the middle of, the ones that we've already walked through, the ones that are years and years ago that maybe we've never told anybody about. Lord, I know each woman here is here for a reason, and Lord, I pray that you will provide for her. If she's praying over the, the money to be in the rock bottom book, Lord, we ask for money miracles. If she's praying over coming to our conference here in the Dallas area, because I know a couple of these ladies are, I pray that you will provide a way for her to get here. Lord, because you know what? We need to be in person. We need to hug on each other and love on each other, and we're going to have a, a time at the conference uh, where, we, um, where we all gather and we have the Rock Bottom Sisters come to the front. So, Lord, I just thank you. I thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 
All right, ladies, have a great, 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 great night. I'm going to get this video and uh, everything downloaded, and I'll get it uh, downloaded and uploaded and do all the things I need to do with it, and I'll get it out posted. Um, and so if somebody you know needs this, uh, just get it to them or just send them that link. Uh, thank you, Hannah, for coming. Thank you, Cindy, Dolores. Bye, everybody. Mia, Erica. Uh, Karen, thank you, Karen and Marsha and Hannah for coming on the screen. Um, again, there's Karen and Marsha. I made them go to the naked spa. Ha! I know. We do the craziest things. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Bye.